Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. Uh, Dixie Flipper here, Michael. Um, so I had a really good week this week um, on there. Um, hope everything's going well for you guys. Hope much sales and everything going like that. So I am going to just jump right into it. Um, and we'll just go from there. Um, I have quite a bit of sales um, that I just need to go through. Um, I will just go... I had a Poshmark and a Macari sale. Um, my Poshmark is for this Ulta Beanie, or Took, as people in the UK and Canada says. Um, someone gave me an, sent me an offer for $10. Um, I did give them a shipping discount. So after a uh, Poshmark fee and my shipping discount, I make four dollars on this. It's not bad. I spent a dollar on it. Um, but it's been in my store forever. I figured, hey, might well get it moved out. Um, probably someone was waiting for winter to come and they didn't need it. So that is my Poshmark sale. Um, my next one is my Macari sale. Um, and that is for a DVD um, on here. Give me one moment. Okay, there we go. Right, it's for this DVD, a uh, letter written, um, like new, condition. Uh, someone sent me a, or I sent offer for $4, I believe. Um, oh no, yeah, I sent offer for $4. They took it nice and with uh, Macari, like you said, you know, it has no selling fees or shipping. Um, so the seller bought, or the buyer bought, sorry, paid for the uh, service fee, which was a four cents uh, delivery. So the shipment was four ninety nine, um, and then the payment processor's fee of seventy eight dollars, and then it sells tax of seventy four dollars. That's what they paid, um, plus the four dollars for the C uh, DVD, and I get all the four dollars. Um, I believe this I paid twenty cents for, so I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Actually, me more on Macari in this case than uh, on I would make on eBay as you'll see. So, so that's my Macari and e or Macari and Poshmark sales. Uh, now eBay, I had 22 sales, so my total sales for the um, for the week, which would be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So it would be the um, sorry, it would be the second, uh, third, and today the fourth. Um, during those times on eBay, now this will count, have everything included, the um, eBay fee and the shipping into it. But Friday the, tw the 2nd, August 2nd, I brought in a total of $91.95. Saturday, August 3rd, I brought in $83.92, which is awesome. And today so far, um, I'm filming this at about 5 o'clock uh, Mountain Standard Time. Um, I brought in $74.02. Now, if I could have most of my days <laughs> like that, it would be perfect. I, I would love it, you know. Um, but I've had ups and downs. Um, I think on average, um, according to, to Vimo, um, well, let's do some math. So, Vimo saying my total... Um, Let's go back to eBay, sorry. I brought up a calculator. Um, so, my total uh, seven day running total is $478.29. Divide that by seven. Um, so my, my average for the week would be about 68 bucks, which is perfect. That's I, I like getting to that point. Now I want to get closer to a hundred dollars a day if I can um, on it which I'm working on that so not bad not a bad weekend so far so I'll uh, go ahead and show you what I sold um, starting so th these are if you can here let me take out the bag that I have so someone bought uh, bought these um, there's a pair of two if you can see they're key fobs um, but they are they don't have the electronics in it. It's literally just the rubber button and the casing. Um, 
this literally cost me, I think, a quarter for both on it. I've had it for a while, but someone came and bought both of them for $35.30, uh, with shipping their all in for $42.38. Um, after we go through through my sales, I, I kind of want to talk about, but this is an item that I would say, and I'll explain more, would be a good business item. Um, it's long to tell, it's a need, um, and someone will eventually need it um, on there. So, not bad. I've had this over a year, I believe, on there. So, there's that. My second sale. Um, is another DVD, it's Young Sheldon, the first series, brand new. Um, someone came in and bought for $11.19, free shipping. Again, um, I have 20 cents into this. Um, I figured, hey, better to get 11 bucks out of it than let it sit around and it gives me a little bit better um, resell than most of my other C uh, DVDs. So, 11.19, free ship. Right, my next one is another DVD. Um, it's Letters to Juliet, uh, 766, free ship, tw uh, 50 cents I spent on this. It's an older one that I've had in my store forever. I'm happy to see it go, so not a bad one. Okay, now hats are always good. I always get a couple of them, I try, try to. This is a black leather cap. Um, really it's a no name, it has no tag that I could find in it. Um, been in my store for, I think I got this in Vegas at the Trash to Cash Bash. So that's well over a, a year. Um, someone came in bought for $17.28. Uh, plus, so with shipping they're all in for $25.27. On that, so. Yeah, next one is another DVD. I had a lot of DVDs and CD sales this week, so I'm I'm happy with that. Um, it's a double feature. It's the American President and Dave, and Dave um, on there. Um, Pre-owned, seven dollars sixty-six cents um, free ship on that. All right, here's my line of DVD or CDs that have started. Sorry, hold on. I have a stack of them. Okay, first one is Murder Was the Case um, by Snoop Dogg. Yeah, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Murder Was the Case by Snoop Dogg. Um, got this in a big lot of, the, of CDs. Um, I've been trying to get more uh, rap, um, hip hop, more of the genre, genres that aren't really coming to my area. Um, I get a lot of classical, country, maybe a little rock and roll. Um, but he sold for $7.66 plus our free ship. Um, I have 80 cents into this. I'm not gonna make a whole bunch, but I'm happy to see him gone. So, uh, next one, this will be interesting for you guys. Um, so patterns, uh, sewing patterns, um, that kind of stuff. Most of the time, I uh, like DVDs and that. They're not worth much. Um, don't, if the price is right, don't let that discourage you. Um, I bought this a while back ago. It is back ago. It's Cat Patch Kit pre uh, Premier Swing Patterns um, Butter Rack uh, 6981 Uncut and instructions are in it. Um, I think I got these for free a uh, while back ago, but someone came in and bought it for $7.66 plus shipping. Now on these items, I normally do a flat rate shipping of $7.99. So all in the customers in for $17.04. Um, I, these are easy to ship. I put them into a, a cardboard envelope, put some tape on it, send it out. Um, the probably will be kept so light, probably will cost me just over four dollars or just under four dollars, uh, depending on how ground is. Um, so not a bad sell, all right? Okay, next one is another uh DVD, it is On the Wings of Eagles, um, right here. Um, 
Green condition, $7.66, um, free ship. Uh, again, 20 cents came in a big lot of DVDs. So I made my money back on the DVD a lot. Um, but so this is really just free all profit. But I do 20 cents just to keep my head in it when I do get an offer, if it's really worth it. So this was worth it. I was happy with it. All right, now I do sell cards. Um, I know you guys, it's a shocker, but I do. Um, baseball cards, basketball, any sports, um, Pokemon, um, even James cards uh, from um, a great reseller life. Um, again, just giving a plug to James here. Um, I'll show you really quickly. Um, what he has now this is I when he comes out with a card I normally just get one for myself a signed one an unsigned one and then an unsigned one to put on eBay to sell so um, but yeah so remember uh, James cards right here um, I know he has quite a bit um, still for sale um, on that side so just uh, Keep that in mind um i have them for sale on mine the ones i have that's my personal one the other ones are just um the uh the ones i keep i like i have a copy of an unsigned one and a signed one and then i tell that i get in there a copy of a unsigned one to sell so keep an eye out for it um on that side all right, so I sold a lot of five Skybox 1996 USA Olympic basketball team cards. Um, they're in a little package. I'm not going to uh, try to open them up, but I will tell you who's in here. Uh, Scotty Pippen, uh, Glenn, come on, let's see. Okay, so Larry Watkins, I believe he was the coach. Um, John Scott Stockton Stockins, um, of course from Utah um, Glenn Robinson, I don't know who he's played for but that um, and then I have uh, like you see here a dollar discount card that came with a pack um, on there um, This game I bought a hundred single packs of um, of uh, the 96 Olympic team uh, cards um, Silent enough when I open them most of them were damaged, um, I, so I salvaged what I could from them. Um, this one was just the first one that sold, so I had it for a while. Someone sent me an offer for $2 plus shipping, so all in it will be $3.69. This does qualify for the um, envelope, standard envelope program, so that's how I'll send it to, to them. Um, probably have like five cents into these, give or take. All right. Um, my next one is another CD. Um, now, this one, yes. Now, this kind of starts my my uh, CDs that actually sold at a really nice price. Um, someone came in and bought this for $13.96. I've been slowly moving my CDs over to free ship. Hadn't gotten to this one yet, which I'm happy I didn't. So they paid for shipping. So all in, they're $21.22 um, with the shipping. Um, this is Michael Harrison, 3rd Avenue, uh, 1988, um, rare. Um, like I said, not all my CDs and DVDs are 766 free shipping. Those ones tend to sell quicker um, just because of the price, and they're not really valuable in any way. This one's had around for, I want to say a year. Um, I replaced the case uh, and that, and it paid off. So, just an example. Uh, don't count out your, your media um, just because there's a lot of low dollar stuff. There are some good price ones that yeah, is worth saving on there. Um, that one I spent 50 cents on, um, on that one. Now my I have a VHS, Die Hard, Bruce Willis, um, the VHS. Uh, it sold for $7.60, free ship on there. Uh, like I said, most VHS tapes are worthless. Um, you'll get probably a dollar or two from them. Um, but if they come in a big lo uh, lot, this is a one I got from that lot that I got the 
um, horror VHS from that I sold for 25 bucks. Um, this is profit. It was free. I mean, I don't know what else to say. People still like their VHS tapes, and I'm willing to give it to them. So, that's there. Um, my next one is another CD. Um, this one is, this one sold better than the 790 or 766 ones, but um, it's all right. It's a uh, viola, I believe, season four. Um, it's a violin or whatever, a classical. <laughs> Someone bought for nine dollars and seven cents free ship. So I'll get a couple more bucks off of this. I'm more than happy with that. Right. Now the next one is a brand new CD. Like I said, I've, I've gotten a lot of them. Uh, this one is Catherine Nielsen. Um, now, a story behind this one. Someone bought it. They bought for $10.33 uh, plus ship. So $15.50 is what they're in for. Um, when I posted on that, I, either I didn't see the crack, which I have a hard time believing I didn't see the crack. I don't know if you can see that on on this right there see it um or if it cracked while it was in storage either way i mentioned the buyer um if you are listening uh kevin thank you for the purchase um i mentioned him and it's like hey i ain't recognize see it you know either i can give your money back or if you're okay with it can send this to you or what would you like he was awesome um he wrote back a uh, message me right away saying send it he actually has another case for it um, and you recognize that sometimes cases break, you know, there's nothing that we can do about it. So he was cool. Like I said, uh, 1550 all in. He said, I'm saying that over to Kevin. All right. Another CD, um, or D yeah, CD, actually it's a DVD CD combo. It's for, um, Planet Snaker, uh, Sneakers, Evermore. Um, brand new, sealed. You know, this is another one that didn't sell for seven sixty six. It sold for eighteen dollars and nineteen cents. Um, so, and they, and I think it's free ship on this one. Uh, so twenty three ten after tax is what they paid. Um, I love these. This is from another big lot. Um, I've already made my money back on that lot. So most of the time, even though I say it's fifty cents, um, it's paid for. Um, already, um, I do that just to kind of keep my head in the game of actually what I spent on that lot and make sure I'm not, you know, giving it away. So, uh, 2310, um, Planet, uh, Sneakers Evermore, the CD, DVD lot, or tapes, whatever. Um, here's another, these two are the cheaper, uh, ones. You know, uh, Crazy Town, um, the gift of the game, uh, sold for $7 and 66 cents, um, on that one. Um, and then, oh, my box is going to fall, uh, JC album, uh, black album, uh, sold for, oh, I, she, I sent an offer out, um, to make my money and to make, not to be, in the hole um and maybe make 50 to a dollar on it i sent out an offer on this one for seven dollars and 28 cents they went ahead and took it on that so the black album by jc um on that there um and both of those were 88 or 80 cents i bought for on that all right so i bought these talking about big lots um i bought them to i a year I think a year ago um it's the little Marvin California Ministering Association Baptistine and Tree on there they're brand new I bought all oh, I paid 50 bucks and probably bought um probably 60 70 of these and I have I'm down to like four <laughs> on it and they've been good sellers someone came in and bought this for Twenty-one dollars and five cents. Um, so they plus shipping, which all in there twenty-eight dollars and seventy-three cents. Um, not a bad buy. 
and sad these are going. I wish I could find more. Um, but yep, that's going to go out. Okay. Um, now this one is a cheap CD. It's a Barbara Streisand Christmas album. It, it's just the front cover, front art, and the CD on there. Um, they bought for seven dollars and six six cents, uh, free ship. Now these, um, I don't mind doing free ship. They caught, they weigh less than three ounce, um, and a cardboard envelope, um, and that I'm probably make two dollar fifty to two dollars on that. So that's my last CD. Now the next one, oh, I probably spent, I want to say probably ten cents on that, um, on there. So next two are just cheap DVDs. One is Veggie Tales Sing Along Do the Moon Scoop. Scoop. I don't know. <laughs> Spent twenty cents on it. Uh, sold for seven dollars and sixty six cents. Um, and next one is Wild. Uh, it was released in two thousand fourteen. Um, seven dollars and six cents. Spent twenty cents on it. Again, big lot buys. Just getting rid of the. The um, cheap stuff, cheaply on that. So that's going. Now, last one is another hat. Um, it is Boy Beer Company um, snapback hat um, on there. Um, a nice, nice one. Uh, bought this for two dollars, um, probably a year ago. Um, a lot of this has come from a year ago. <laughs> it hasn't been recent um, buys. Um, sold it. Some bought this for twenty-five dollars and nineteen cents, and paid shipping, which is after everything is twenty-nine sixty-six um, all in. Um, so I'll make a good, good amount on this. Now, the reason why I said everything is about a year ago, a year old is because that's when I uh, last heavily resourced. Um, I've been trying to redo my SKU label, um, as well as, sorry, um, as well as um, try to reorganize my storage unit um, as well. Um, so that's why I haven't. It saved me quite a bit of money, not sourcing a lot, um, and that, um, and I'm, I'm totally happy with that. Um, there was a Mattel Lightyear Glow in the Dark Action Fear Buds Lightyear that sold just a few minutes ago. I had two of them. Um, they're from 2022 um, on there. I'm not going to show you it, but for two of them, they came in bought for $27.98 uh, with shipping and everything. It's $36.28. So that's my last sale, literally. So this week, um, I brought in a total of $343.71. Um, that is not taking out the shipping in that cost that I'm going to have to do after this. Um, so, uh, just going over the numbers really quick. Um, like I said, um, I don't have my numbers for this week because I haven't done my shipping, so anything will be a little skewed. Um, but according to eBay, my last seven day was four hundred and seventy eight dollars and twenty eight twenty nine cents um, on that, um, which is great. I'm up in my revenue by thirty three cent uh, thirty three percent, and my um, profit or my net sales is up thirty three um, percent as well. Um, my sales cost so far, of course, this isn't taking out any kind of you know. Um, Shipping costs is 52% of my total sales right now, um, and my quality of quantity of sales have gone up 26% as well. So, I'm I'm completely happy like that uh, with it. Um, my top uh, so far, my top um, categories have been CDs, DVDs, um, hats, um, e motors, the the fobs. Um, and action figures um, on there. So my CDs came in at $145.25, 155% up. Uh, movies have gone up to over $76.35, 
so 53% up. Um, my hats were $54.93, so 110% up from last the week before. Um, Emoters is $42.38, 100% up from last week. Um, and my action figures were $36.28, which is 73% up from last week. Those two aren't really impressive because last week I didn't sell any action figures or emotor things. So, of course, they're going to be, be up um, uh, more drastic um, on that side. Um, the week before, so this would be July 22nd through the 28th, which I can give you a, a, a clear number. I sold 32 items um, between all four platforms, eBay, Macari, Poshmark, and whatnot. Um, I did a list of 117 items during that week, which I was one item, one below what I did the week before. Um, but I did raise my sell, average sale price up by 6% of $12.26 on there. Um, my total revenue for that week was $392.29, and my total profit on that week was $134.71. Um, whatnot, I sold one item for $5, um, Poshmark, um, total sales were $14.33, uh, Macari was one item for $4.05, um, and the uh, eBay, my average price was twelve dollars and ninety three cents number items sold that week ebay was 60 uh, 26 uh, macari was two uh, poshmark was three like i said whatnot is one on their top categories will mirror what ebay is seen as well which was cds dvds um some kind of video game um bricks and then Nick and Masher. Oh wait, sorry, that was brands. Wrong thing, sorry. So uh, DVDs were my top one. CDs, Action Figures Association, uh, hats, and vinyl records. So pretty much mirrors what eBay has seen, except for a couple of things um, on there. So, you know, not a bad week. Um, not a bad couple weeks, actually, looking over the, the long haul. And that's what we have to think. now. Give me one moment, let me get a drink of Gatorade. All right, so this topic comes from James, um, the great reseller of life, which um, I think he brought up a good point. There has been uh, a lot of talk about high sell through rate, low sell through rate, high, high price, low price, you know, and you can do, run your business as you please. By all means, we all do things differently. As long as it gets you what you are looking for, that's what matters um, on it. Um, but he did bring up one thing. Are you reselling or are you building a business? Um, I think the difference is between the two reselling is you're just finding items and flipping it. Finding items and flipping it. Which, that's what you do in a business. But reselling brings up one other, um, just reselling brings up a problem. You're always happy to finding, listing, and selling. And not in a, not meaning that you don't do that daily as in a business, but that's all you're doing. Um, you see these uh, YouTubers and nothing against them personally. Um, and I think if it works for them, great. Let them do what they do. And if it works for you, by all means, I'm not going to stand in your way. But you see the issue comes up where they are constantly having issues of finding supply or running out of supply and have to buy some supply quickly. And that's great if you can, can keep finding that supply of that high sell through rate. But the problem comes when you can't or you can't afford to. You know, the prices on on buying inventory has gone up, even on the low income stuff, it has gone up a little bit um, on there. But if you're building the business, you're building it where you are able to, and I, I think this is the greatest thing that I've seen from James and others like him, that you can, you know, and you're doing it for years, 
that's one thing you need you need the data to show that you've done this for years but you can um, go out you can get this inventory you can list it and keep doing that for years and then finally you reach it to a point where you know what your store will will do um, how it will perform um, and so you don't mind taking a week or two off because you know yeah you might see a dip in the numbers but you won't see a, a drastic dip um, and that's why I think it's the difference in building a store versus just doing reselling um, and I think like I said with those uh, items low sell through rates most of them were a year old or just under a year old they've been with me for a while um, but they uh, they've sold they found their home and they're going to it um, and not all of them were low dollars some were medium some were high depending on what your definition of that is and I think that's what we need to keep an eye on how are how is our stores performing in a whole um, if and do you if you want to do the high sales rate volume high sales rate high money everything that's fine go for it but if you're going to do this in the long term is better in my opinion and it's my opinion only is better to have a mix of high and low um, so you can count on those low dollar seller cells to help fill the gap um, up um, on that side um, I, I've also decided with my store um, James ta always talks about finding a, found a foundational item an item that you can find cheaply you can find plenty of and you can list like crazy I have a couple I have CDs DVDs um, not so much cassette but VHS is coming to, coming into that a little bit more now um, and that is purely on where I live St. George Utah is a retirement community and in, in the most part we are getting bigger better and getting young families and, and growing that way but down to its core is a retirement center um, so when you have people die and sorry we do die we're not you know we live forever I wish we did um, if you do get to me you know comment on the comment and let all of us know how you are living forever um, but um, they die and their their family comes in and they either hire a estate sale company come in and sell their things or they hold a yard sale because they just want things gone and I go and I talk to them and I look through their stuff and most of the time I go the stack of CDs how much do you want for it case in point yesterday I just stopped at a yard sale just to look around they had a bunch of CDs um, I asked her how how long do you, how much do you want for all of them um, she said, uh, at first, I, how much do you want for your CDs? She said, 50 cents a piece. Well, if I buy all of them, how much would you want that? $5, I just want them gone. Perfect. You know, gave her five bucks and, and came home. That's the thing. There was 20 or, oh, like 20 or 30 CDs. Most of them were new, uh, still wrapped. Oh, and there was doubles in there, which I don't mind at all. Um, and that makes listing easy for me um, But I got it for a cheap price a foundational item for me so That's why I want to ask you know I'm putting in the comments. Are you reselling or are you building a business a long-term business? If you're reselling great resell. I mean right now I probably do more of the reselling side than the building my business because I have a nine-to-five um but my goal is to do it full time eventually. So let me know. Comment down below. Tell me you hate me. You you don't like the uh, the show. The you know um, I'm giving you wrong advice. Whatever. Um, or you agree with me, or you know I don't care. Whatever ways, give me a thumbs up. Let me know how how you feel about it. Let me know if you're running a business or. A, are just reselling um, either way is fine by me I, I don't judge how anyone runs their own business 
I just look at what I can do with mine and what I can do better. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, let me know um, on there. But um, you guys keep a, keep working, keep doing what you're doing. Um, don't let anyone, if you're, you're bringing what you need to bring in or what you want to bring in, you're rocking it and keep rocking it. If you aren't and you want more, all I can say is a list. Make sure you're getting those that stuff, the inventory cheap as much as you can and look for those do mix, look for the high sell items as well as some of the low sell items so you have that good mix in your inventory. But other than that, you have a great day, have a great week, um, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.